So DaVinci Resolve 14 does a lot of things well, but text is not one of them. If you've ever needed to make a compound text clip for motion tracking or effects purposes, you'll notice that the background automatically changes to black unless you set the composite mode to add. But if you do this, you'll notice that the text is now slightly transparent unless it's the color white. Let me show you how to fix that. So I've got my footage placed on the timeline in the edit window and I'm going to select the text title from the effects library up top and place it on top of my clip. Go ahead and play around with the text font and size but leave the color as white. Right click the layer and make it a new compound clip. Now instead of changing the composite mode to remove the black background, we're going to use nodes. So go ahead and open up the color window down at the bottom. Right click in the background of the node editor and select add alpha output. Notice there is now a blue box on the right. Right click again in the background of the node editor and add two corrector nodes. Unwire the RGB output from the first node, it's this green circle right here, by clicking on the wire and pressing delete. Now drag the output circle of node 1 to the alpha input triangle of node 2 to create a link. Now drag the alpha output triangle of node 2 to the blue master alpha output box to create a link. Drag the green master input on the left to the input circle of node 3 to create a link. Then wire the output circle of node 3 to the input circle of node 2. Now drag the circle output of node 2 to the green master RGB output box on the right. Now this is what your final setup should look like. I have placed node 3 above node 1 so it's easier to see the wiring is not crossed. Now click the open effects library and drag the color generator effect onto node 3. Notice everything is inverted. To fix this, select node 2 and the key tab. Now click on the icon of a black circle in a white square and it should invert the picture. Finally, select node 3 again and choose your color from the color generator panel. Thanks for watching and I hope this worked for you. Be sure to check out my motion tracking text tutorial and let me know what you think in the comments below.